Hey everyone, Eric here from Around 2 at RC, and today I'm going to review the Stinger 2 for you. This is a sport aerobatic plane from Lanier RC by Great Plains. Now this plane comes as an almost ready to fly kit, meaning some assembly is required. So before we take it out and fly it, let's take some time to talk about the build process. First, let's see what comes in the box. Now to complete the build, you're going to need a few things, and let's start with the radio. You will need at least a four channel radio because the plane has aileron, elevator, rudder, and throttle control. Now for this plane, I'm going to be using my Futaba 8FG Super Radio to control the airplane, and in the plane itself, I have a seven channel Futaba receiver. Some other things you're going to need for the build are five standard size ball bearing servos, two six inch servo extensions for the ailerons, a battery pack and switch harness for the receiver, and one quarter inch foam rubber for the receiver and battery pack. For the powertrain, I installed an OS Max 46AX engine with a Bison or Bison custom muffler and you're also going to need about three feet of standard silicone fuel tubing. Now this is an ARF kit, that means some assembly is required, so you would need some prior plane building experience to complete the airplane. That being the case, I would not recommend this plane to the novice pilot. It's intended for the intermediate and advanced flyers, so please keep that in mind during the review, okay? Now let's talk about the plane specs. The wingspan, is 49.5 inches. The length is 46 inches and it has a flying weight of five and five and a half pounds depending on your setup. The plane is constructed of built-up balsa and ply and has a top flight monocoque covering on it. The paint scheme is red and white with yellow and blue striping on it which give it a very sharp crisp look that I like and also another thing to note, on the underside of the main wing and the horizontal stabilizer, it's white with diagonal red stripes, which not only look good, but should prove to be good visual aids while in the air to help maintain orientation. Now some other things to note about the airplane are the molded fiberglass wheel pants, the molded fiberglass cowl, and the plastic molded canopy with the pilot figure in it. And speaking of the canopy, why don't we take that off and take a look inside of the completed build. Well, that's about it for the first part of the review for the Stinger. So let's take this bad boy out to the flying field and see what it'll do. This is a tower. You are clear for takeoff.
Back up. The taxis will. So what you think? Thumbs up. The stinger too. That's an awesome flying plane right there. Okay, that was the review and flight of the Stinger 2 from Lanier RC by Great Plains. And let me give you my final thoughts about the airplane before we get out of here today. Now, I really did enjoy flying the airplane. The red and white paint scheme made it very easy to see while it was in the air. And the OS46 engine provided plenty of power to perform sport aerobatic maneuvers. And it also did well as a slow flyer. So you have a well-rounded plane right here. Now, as I said earlier, I would not recommend this plane for the novice pilot. This would be for the intermediate and advanced flyers that has some prior knowledge of plane building and glow engine knowledge. For those people, you will have total fun with this plane just like I did today. Now, where can you get this plane? You can purchase this plane online at TowerHobbies.com and I'll be providing a direct link to the website for this plane in my video notes. So be sure to check out my video notes and go check this plane out at TowerHobbies.com, okay? Well, that's about it for the video review. As always, I'm glad you got to see me and we'll see you later on the tube, okay? Hey, do you know what you're doing? Yes. Are you sure? Leave the pilot alone. Have to make sure the pilot is able. Whatever. 
What are you doing? Cleaning the plane. You have to do that every time you fly it? Yeah, you got to get the oil off of it. How come you don't clean my van every time you use it? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wait a minute. You want to get clean? No! No!